Load. Flare. Yes. Mods are currently loaded. Note, achievements are disabled. I got it for free, whatever. Let's go ahead and disable the disabler for achievements. That should be easy enough, seeing as a mod was released day one for it. What's going on, guys? It's Apaxi, back with a modding tutorial for Skyrim Special Edition. This is probably not the video you wanted to see first for my channel here on for Skyrim Special Edition, but I decided I needed to make this video because Bethesda decided to disable achievements for Skyrim Special Edition for when you use mods, and whether it's through Nexus Mod Manager or whether it's through Bethesda.net, it will disable your mods. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the mod to disable. Uh, I, my brain can't, my brain can't comprehend this. I'm gonna show you how to install the mod that disables the disabler for achievements by using mods. I don't know if that made sense, but let's go ahead and do this. Achievements, mods, enabler. That's what this is. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download and install this. It's actually very simple. It actually just tells you right here, but I thought I would go ahead and make this video to not just show you guys how to install it because a lot of you might already know how to install it, but also just give you awareness that this does exist. So all you wanna do is go to files. The link for this will be down in the description and download it manually. This does not have a download with Nexus Mod Manager option as it doesn't work like that. I'm just gonna download it to our downloads folder because we have it right on our desktop. We're gonna go ahead and right click and extract it with 7-zip. Doesn't matter whether it's 7-zip, doesn't matter whether it's WinRAR, use whatever you want. And then we can go ahead and open up this folder. And you can see modsenabler.dll, dll exports, d input 8, dll loader, license, and readme. You don't really have to care about the license and readme. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't care about it. But if you wanna go ahead and read it, or you want to look at the license, go right ahead. So anyways, let's go ahead and find our Skyrim Special Edition in our Steam Apps folder. If you don't know how to get here, just find where you installed Steam. Typically where you've probably downloaded it is in your local disk in Program Files 86, and you should see Steam. I have a separate SSD for games, so that's where I installed mine, and we can go right into Steam. Once you're in here, you wanna to go to Steam Apps and go to Common, and then you're gonna to wanna to find Skyrim Special Edition, which should be near the bottom, depending on how many games you have. Once you have this open right here, you just wanna go ahead and take the files for the Achievements Mods Enabler, all four of these right here, and just drag it right in, and boom. <laughs> that's literally all you have to do. I'm gonna show you again that I do have a mod enabled. I have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch as Bethesda decided not to fix anything in the game that was broken. You can see that it's enabled right there and we have this in here now, so it should work. Let's go ahead and launch Skyrim Special Edition and see whether it does indeed. Go ahead and click play. I'm gonna show my face. I know some of you might not wanna see my face. I mean, I could just go like that, but why not? If we have the ability to, why not? Let's go ahead and load up the game. This is a non-modded save, as you can see. So if I go to load, you can see there's no M in between brackets. Let's go ahead and load just this quick save that I have here. And you can see, guess what? Achievements disabler mod enabler. I, I, I don't even know. My brain doesn't work like that. But you can see that we didn't get the notification. And if we go ahead and create a new save... So let's go ahead and save, new save, and let's go load. And you can see that save right there does not count as a modded save. That is as simple as it gets. Hopefully this video did help you all out. If it did, please don't forget, as always, to leave a like on it and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. If you haven't already, probably here for the first time. If, you, if you're not, click the subscribe button. Hopefully you'll enjoy what's to come. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.